everyone. I apologize for my videos being uploaded late this week. Something has been going wrong with YouTube and me trying to upload my content. I hope that I can get this video up as well as Sunday's video up today so that there is no more delay or confusion. So without further ado, let me discuss Pearl Harbor and why I think it is an overrated film and do this overrated film Saturday video. Uh, <laughs> this film in particular, I think, is one of the more obvious overrated films um, when you look at, you know, how Transformers made so much money and got so much recognition. Um, not so by so much by critics, but by audiences, because so many people want to see the films. Um, Pearl Harbor is sort of in that same category, and ironically, it's directed by the same person, Michael Bay. Um, but it's uniquely, I think, overrated compared to something like Transformers. Um, it kind of falls more into the Titanic trap, but I think in a in a really different way. Um, because again, it does focus in on trying to create a romance and to pr try and create this this tragedy that was Pearl Harbor that happened, and sort of give us a sense of what the time period was like and so on and so forth. Even though there's probably a lot of inaccuracies, I'm sure. But without further ado, let me discuss a little bit of the problems with this film and why I think it's overrated. Um. For one, the characters in this film I don't think are really all that likable. Uh, in particular, the main character who is played by Ben Affleck. Um, I think he's extremely cocky, um, extremely full of himself. Uh, you, you know, does really reckless things that uh, you think somebody within that kind of military study would not be able to do. Um, he just kind of has this sort of so quasi bad boy sort of image, but then at the same time he he's he's such a nice puppy dog because all he wants to do is fly and blah, you know. So there is these kinds of two personas that kind of go on with this character, and I, I think the 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 arrogance um, trumps any likability because again he does have a, a, a way of trying to beg for what he wants um and it's just um it's just not a fun character to follow um and i think this this is a this is very uh this makes the film rather unlikable and i think it is overlooked because of the Massive again, the Michael Bay aspect of the film, the massive explosions, the elaborate effects, you know, um, the 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 scenario that it's trying to address, and you know, sort of how it has this kind of patriotism that's displayed within the film, you know, FDR trying to get out of his chair, and and you know, you know American flags and. You, you know, all these people who lost their lives, you know, you, you really do see how the film tries to sort of paint this tragedy. But the problem is, is what the heart of the film focuses on, and the heart of the film focuses on these fictional characters. And the problem with that is, is that, again, Ben Affleck's character is really not all that likable. Um, and doesn't really receive any consequences, or really doesn't seem to, I think, really learn anything throughout the, the story, um, uh, except that, you know, you should forgive his, his friend, um, which you will see why, and, and, uh, which sort of leads to another problem with this film. This film likes to put in a lot of twists, um, twists that you might see coming, you might not see coming, but again, they, they do pop up these sorts of twists, you know. Um, the fact that our main character supposedly dies in the beginning of the film, sort of to the, to the, um, towards the relative beginning. Uh, and then on top of that, you have him come back, and then you have this complicated love triangle. 
Now, could you put a, a love triangle in a Pearl Harbor film? Well, you, you, you could, I guess, but it probably shouldn't be the main focus. Um, the main focus should be Pearl Harbor and the circumstances surrounding Pearl Harbor and maybe the paranoia and the, the events sort of leading up to Pearl Harbor, which the film does try to put in, but again, since a lot of it is focused on these characters, it makes it difficult um, for us to really be given a sort of context to the story as to what it's really ultimately trying to focus on. And I think had they made the love triangle a little bit more of a side thing, then it wouldn't have been such a huge issue. But since it's played such a pivotal role into the film and really creates all these little twists and turns, um, it's really intended to, I think, spark, spark drama and spark um, uh, a sense of uh, conflict between the characters, when really the main conflict should be the event Pearl Harbor. Um, it shouldn't be uh, about this, this love triangle. Um, so I think that's something that the film suffers from, but I think that's, again, something that a lot of people enjoyed about the film, was the whole drama aspect to it. And I think, really, the love story was sort of a detriment, because, again, you got Ben Affleck's character, and also you've got, oh, I forget his, the actor's name, but you have this other guy who's, who they're basically, um who basically mistakes him for being dead and assumes, okay, I can date his ex-girlfriend who who was with him until he died. So, yeah, there's just, there, and again, you could make arguments as to whether or not his character is like likable or dislikable for those reasons, but I would say personality-wise he's a little bit better, although there's not a whole lot to him. So, again... Um, this is, I think, a problem, especially when you want to put in, it almost seemed like the movie was trying to put in that there was a relationship between Ben Affleck and the other, uh, actor, you know, they were trying to make it seem like that these people were kind of, had this really strong friendship, even at a young age, because again, it starts off in the way beginning with them, you know, flying, accidentally turning on the plane, you know, and, and crashing it, um, so, uh, I think that had they focused more on their relationship, uh, it would have been a, a lot stronger film, and had maybe they put the love triangle on the side, had they made not Kate Beckinsale, and again, that's the, the love interest, had they not made her, you know, go through all of this different trauma of, you know, he's dead, I like him, now I have a baby, and he's back, and, you know, if they, if they took away all of that complete and utter nonsense, it, it, w it would have been, I think, of a, a lot more, a lot more enjoyable, um, scenario that they could have set up. So that aside, um, what's another thing that makes this film overrated. Um, I, I think the problem with making a Pearl Harbor film is just that you need to really feel, you have to really feel the tension, like that, 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 that it's coming, you know, you, you have to, you have to have some sense of build up. Um, and it has to be good build up. It's not like you can just, you know, show Japanese doing stuff and then us thinking, haha, okay, they're they're scheming, and okay, they're gonna do something bad. We we kind of need, I think, a little bit more than just that. There has to be um, some kind of context into understanding why the event took place. Um, and although it does provide a few scenes uh, with that in it, it's not a huge focus, and and that's the problem because Pearl Harbor is supposed to be about Pearl Harbor. And so, again, I think, had they given a little bit more context, and had they tried to take a maybe more realistic approach, then we would have, I think, had, as a result, um, a better 
plot leading up to the event. But I think what a lot of people like about this film is just the big spectacle um, that comes as a result once finally Pearl Harbor hits. And I think this is where we go into the Michael Bay territory where, again, it's, there's a lot of tragedy, but we, again, we don't, there's a lot of people that die that we never really get to know or um, people that we really feel for. So it's, it's difficult. Um, it's difficult to, to um, really feel the, the tragedy because the, the characters are not really given until I guess you could say the end some kind of tragedy and well I mean I guess there is that one character who was a woman who got killed but she wasn't really given a whole lot um, of screen time and the thing is too is, is, is if you want us to feel sorry for these people you need to um, let us get to know them a little bit um, have them explore, you know, their friendships and their, you know, and then their, and their, the things that they do off work, the things that they do on work, and have it just be realistic and, and reasonable. Um, you don't need to go all out and make this, make these bad boys who do like overly crazy stunts and, and do things that would not be, um, remotely realistic in this kind of a setting. Like, you don't need to do that. I mean, <laughs> You can just make this fairly realistic. I mean, yeah, you can have them get into trouble once in a while. I mean, you, there, I'm sure there was a lot of rapscallions back then, but you didn't need to do it in the way you, in the way you did movie. Um, you, you just didn't need to do it. Uh, so again, I think that's really the thing that people like is just the over excessiveness of it. Um, and at and in. And in providing that over excessiveness, there is a lack of real depth um, as a result with the characters, with the plot, with the whole story and setup. So, yes, and some people have um, have said that they felt like um, that the 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 like that that the that, that Michael Bay, I guess, didn't understand. I guess the, the the patriotism aspect um and that it was kind of distorted. I think um if you watch the nostalgia critics review you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about because he does go on this rant of how um of how incapable a lot of the the people uh were during Pearl Harbor because they didn't have a certain training and you'd think that had they been in these circumstances, had they been involved in the Navy, they would know these skills. And he goes on to say how inaccurate this is, and to me, I don't think the patriotism and the lack of understanding of people who are within the fields that they're in really bothers me. Um, so much as the, the the lack of depth with the characters and, and not really getting to know these people and then just and then just seeing a ton of people die it's you do feel depressed but you it, it doesn't um it doesn't provide context to these people and it's it's it it, it does paint Pearl Harbor with tragedy but not with uh, not with substance, so there's no um, emotional connection with the tragedy, and hence we just have sort of you know patriotism, um, <laughs> and uh, you know like we should support our fellow warriors out there, and and it, it's hard when you're making a story because when you're making a story, you got to give some kind of context. Uh, with these, with the characters, with these people, and unfortunately, Michael Bay didn't do that, um, and just went for a spectacle and um, tried to tried to create a sense of build up by putting in a bunch of other 
things that really didn't need to really be the focus. Like, again, having all these twists with the love triangle and all that stuff that didn't need to be in there. Um, but I think had they made, you know, again, better characters and made it a lot more likable, it would be, it would have been good, but they didn't choose to do that. And, um, and again, you get a sense of spectacle because, again, Michael Bay knows how to put the visuals in. You know, you know, he like, he knows how to put in that American flag. He knows how to blow things up. He knows how to put in that underdog character that's actually likable and actually somebody that maybe we would want to invest time in, but just have him come in and just shoot stuff and then he leaves and then he's really not there a whole lot anymore. You know, it's like there are these sparks of things that could have been and then just Michael Bay just refused to focus on them, uh, refused to devote time to them. And as a result, we get this huge patriotic spectacle um, and tragedy, but with no um, no substance, nothing to hold on to, nothing to gain from, and not really um, not really knowing the the themes of all that much of what patriotism is, what these kinds of tragedies mean. Um, again, it's just it's just a lack of substance. Um, but people, I think, sometimes gravitate towards those kinds of films. Uh, because they like the spectacle and they don't care about the the substance. Um, they just want to have uh, Americans, you know, rallying up. And uh, this this film does give you that emotional impact, I guess, with just the visuals. But when it comes to character stories and plot, it, it I, I unfortunately don't think it holds up. So that's why I place this film into the overrated category and I think it's just been way overhyped for what it is and on top of this it had a to show you how similar this is to Titanic it also had like this hit song um you know uh this really cheesy one I think it was by maybe it was Faith Hill I can't remember but it was just some very cheesy song that's got tons of views I think on YouTube um, and then everybody going, oh, I remember this movie, and blah, blah, blah. And I think, and because it's, again, similar to My Heart Will Go On, it's, it puts the film in there, too. Um, Pearl Harbor, the film in there. So, in the music video. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of similarities, I think, when it comes to Titanic, because, again, Titanic did focus on creating that spectacle, that, that sense of, of wonder, and although I think they handled at least the main character well, again, I, and and in this movie I don't think any of the characters are handled all that well. And some of the plot elements aren't really handled all that well in Titanic. In this one I think they're handled completely wrong. Um, but uh, I guess that's just opinion. But uh, again, I think Titanic obviously did get a lot more uh, praise than this film did. Again, because critics did not like this film, but I think it is overrated in the sense that people, um, moviegoers, some moviegoers really enjoyed it. Um, they really took it in. Um, but for me personally, I think it was just a, it's a style over substance film. It doesn't provide, um, it doesn't provide you with a, film that you'd think Pearl Harb uh, a film about Pearl Harbor would really be about. So so that's I think ultimately the issues with it. Um but uh I think it just turned out to be a spectacle and that's what people wanted out of the film. And that's what they got, but uh I don't think there was a whole lot beyond that. So that's why I think it's overrated. But uh that's all I think I can really say about this film. But if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. But until next time, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have all a great day, week, month, and year. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.